I'm Amanda from Little Ones and today I'm going to be answering the question what happens if my baby doesn't sleep the lengths of naps in your program? In our program we have a guide of when the best time that a nap should happen and the best length and the ideal length that it should happen. This is not a regimented routine in any way, it is just what the best day and the ideal day would look like. Now babies aren't robots and we certainly know that, but the times and lengths in the guides are, I guess, the ideal situation. So if your baby doesn't sleep those lengths, depending on, I guess, when the baby wakes in each nap or where the baby wakes in each nap, we have multiple um, troubleshooting notes to guide you through how to get to the next nap and what to do and whether it means adding on the um, time onto the next nap or whether it means having a little catch-up nap in between to get you through the afternoon or whether it means putting your baby to bed earlier we generally work on awake times and it's kind of just making sure that your baby gets X amount of sleep in the day to aid in and aid in good settling at 7 p.m. and aid in good sleep overnight. If your baby's not sleeping for the length that we recommend in the program when you first start off or even later on, it could be due to a number of factors. It could be that their awake window in between naps isn't actually long enough and they're just having a wee nap, they're not having an actual good decent sleep and it could be that they're overtired and that you need to wind back the awake window or it could be that they're not burped properly as, or winded as a newborn or there's other factors going on. So once you're following our program that helps rule out a few different factors and if they're still not sleeping well after following the program for a couple of weeks then it is best to seek further guidance in our support group but it could be that your baby isn't settling or um, being, for an older baby that your baby isn't actually able to fall asleep and stay asleep and then go back to sleep in between sleep cycles because they're relying on you for some sort of sleep association and if so our settling guides go through how to gently aid your child to be able to go to sleep independently and that will aid in sleeping better during the day as well. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more free baby sleep videos just like this one.